In this lab, we're installing the Centrify standard agent in a couple of our Linux systems. Then we're going to be joining the computer's interactive directory, and we'll verify that everything is, is running smoothly. I'm going to head and connect to our CentOS system first. If you remember from a previous lab, we copied the Centrify agent files in the temp directory. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to expand that TGZ file. Notice this, the Centrify agent will include the native packages for, the, for that platform, in this case, uh, an RPM. But we also have the install.sh installer. Um, in this particular example, I'm going to do the RPM install. The base agent is called Centrify DC. And it's as simple as doing this. After the installation is over, uh, we will verify that the agent binaries have been installed and then we're going to perform an AD join. Remember, the fact that Centrify is installed doesn't mean that Centrify is active. Centrify will only be active after you have joined Active Directory. If you look at some of the postings that we had before, you will know all some of the all the changes that are made by the Centrify agent, but the most important ones are around PAM and NSS. We use the frameworks for Unix in terms of integrating to directory services and authentication services. The first command you need to know is AD info. So AD info basically states you're not joined to any domain at this point. To join the domain we need to know what is the name of the computer or the domain that we're going to be joining and where it, what, which is the container we're going to be putting in the computer and what is the zone we're going to be joining. We need to also have an account in AD that can join systems in the domain. In the delegation exercise, we made Jesse with the ability to join computers to the domain. So the command is AD join. I'm going to go ahead and expand this, AD join. In this particular case, we join the, join the HQ zone. The computer object is going to be in the Unix servers container. We typically like to do a verbose installation. This is because we want to make sure that we see everything that's going on, just in case there's an error. We're going to be using Jesse's account. And we're going to be joining the corp domain. If everything is correct, we should be prompted for the AD password for Jesse. Of course, uh, AD join is actually a, a privilege action, so it needs to be done with privileges. In this particular case, since we enabled sudo, I'm going to use sudo. There you go. We've been prompted for this password. And as you can see, we have joined a um, Active Directory successfully. How we can verify this? It's very simple. Uh, we can join the AD, uh, run the AD join the AD info command again. And as you can see, we're joined here. We're connected to to our domain controller, and also we can verify that the account exists in Active Directory. So if we go to our container on the Unix and servers. We should see that the CentOS machine is in there. And we, at some point, we should be able to see 
what operating system is running and this is a cool feature because now we can account for non-Windows platforms using Windows tools like System Center, HP OpenView, or even Altiris. Let's go ahead and exit out of this system. We're going to go ahead and join our SUSE system. With this system, we're going to do something a little bit different. Because SUSE is RPM based, we're going to uh, use some of the tools included with the Centrify package to do the installation. Same thing, we're going to go to the temp directory and we're going to elevate to uh, expand that tar file. So with the Centrify package, we have um, a few tools that make your life really easy. One of them is AD check. So AD check is run against the domain. Um, and uh, it serves as a quality assurance me methodology for you to find out if the, if the agent is compatible with this version, uh, if the patch level is correct, um, if the name resolution environment is working correctly, um, and it's run against the domain, in this case, corp. So notice that um, the output of AD check, it goes out and checks uh, uh, all the things that I mentioned before, including space, uh, the versions of Samba and SSH. It also does something really important. It does a connectivity check against domain controllers. If there's a firewall in between, or if there's a connectivity issue, you should be able to uh, fix it before, before you do that. Uh, in my case, it says it found an issue because I only have one DNS server entry in my resolve.com file and uh, in a corporate environment typically you have at least two. Uh, the other utility we're going to use um, um, to inst in this case to install the agent is going to be install this H. And install this H is a, is a script that is included with a Centrify suite that allows uh, for either interactive setups or uh, answer file based uh, setups. In this case, we're going to run an interactive mode. So um, we're going to do a custom installation, and we're going to do only the Centrify package. Um, we're going to ignore the rest of the packages, and um, we're going to do uh, uh, adjoining the Active Directory manually. So um, at the end, it just asks you to verify that the correct things were selected. We're going to say yes. And then it will put the, the agent on this computer. After this is done, uh, we could do the same thing we did before and do an AD info. Notice that we're not joined to any domain. Let's go ahead and do the, um, the join. Uh, and its user has been AD join. And it's going to be ad join minus z hq for our zone minus c as container um in this big case is going to be ou equals servers ou equals unix and uh, we're going to do it in the verbose mode we're going to be using we're going to be using jesse's user who's had delegated access And finally, we're going to go ahead and, and um, set it against the corp domain. Everything is fine. We should be prompted for Jesse's password. And um, it seems that we're going to have a successful join. And if we do an AD info now, notice that we're joined to the right domain with the right name. If you want to verify, we can go back to Active Directory User and Computers to that container, uh, do a refresh. There's a SUSE computer right there running SUSE 10. And uh, this, this first class 
lab. On the next lab, we'll be joining our Solaris machine and we'll do something different. Maybe we'll do an answer file installation. Thank you.